Hey guys, this is King Kang from KingOfSneakers.com with another quick tip on um, how to make your own uh, soul dye. And uh, I'm working on restoring these uh, Oreos. Uh, I've kind of changed up the color pattern a little bit. Uh, did a splatter pattern on these. Um, the things that you're going to be using in order to make your own soul dye, you're going to need an eye dye poly packet with intensifier. You're going to be needing a four ounce jar. You're also going to be needing a one ounce jar, and that's just for measuring the water. You're going to need Angelus Leather Preplayer and Deglazer. And then a brush or a stir stick uh, and maybe some gloves because this dye is pretty strong. What I've done is I've boiled some water already. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour it into um, this little container that holds about one ounce worth of water. There. That's about the amount of water that you need to dilute uh, the packet. Um, if you do it uh, just deglazer with the dye, sometimes the acetone does not break down um, the dye enough and then you'll have the granules at the bottom. So what I'm going to do is dump in the intensifier in here and then I'm going to open up the packet. And then dump that in there. And then one ounce of hot water. Then I'm just going to stir that up. That's just to break it down so that I get no clumps and all the concentrate dye is fluid. And then you can see how it pretty much starts dying immediately. Um, I know what you're going to ask, is it possible just to use it like this, just to get a stronger dye? Um, what happens is that it becomes kind of, it's really thick and syrupy, and so it's very difficult to dry it when you start applying it. So I recommend you do um, get this stirred up. And then once this is pretty much all broken down, you can see that this little thing you see how strong it is. It's gonna it's completely flip the color on that, on the tip. Um, it's just that it's really, it can be really sticky when you're applying it to something. So we're gonna go ahead and add the rest of this just to glazer. Okay. And you wanna go ahead and do this in a very well ventilated area and you're just gonna stir this. And then once you've got this made, you've got about four ounces of dye for maybe like eight dollars, eight or nine dollars. And then you can always use other colors to make your dye. Um, so right now I'm going to show you that I'm going to dye the bottom, put some gloves on here, of this Oreo. And you want to stick to a brush that you're going to just use specifically for this. Um, what you want to do is that you want to make sure that your first coat um, is working down. So that if you try to do this and do it all different ways, um, you're going to get drips. Because this is really runny and it's just going to spread. And then once you get the dye somewhere, you can't get it off. Um, so you just want to be very careful when you do it. So you're going to dip your brush a little bit and you're going to drop it down. As you can see, it covers pretty amazingly. As you can see, it tries to see how it tries to run. So you gotta be very careful and only get a really small amount of dye on your brush, so that you can control where it goes. It might take, uh, with certain shoes, it can take maybe two, two or three coats. Um, the black is pretty strong. I would still give it a couple coats. So that's... So 
So that's what it looks like with one coat. I'll do the back pocket here. Just make sure to get just enough dye. Because you can see it goes it goes in there. It just just one dip gets you get a lot of coverage with it. And because you're using a deglazer, um, it's going to evaporate and almost be dry to the touch um, within a few minutes. So you can see what it looks like there. See if I can get a little bit in the air pocket to black that all completely out. Flip it over really fast. Just enough dye. Carefully get in there, not to get it to spread too much. So less is less is better. And then just work your way. You can see how fast it can run if you put too much. Let's see if I can get. You can see it's in the air pocket there. So that's a quick dye job there. I'm just going to set this down because keep in mind it's still kind of wet at the bottom. The other thing that I'm going to recommend is if you're dyeing uh, the soles, you're like, how do I avoid that very sharpie um, finish on here? What you're going to want to do is get the Krylon, the Krylon matte finisher and you're gonna do a light coat, but once it's dry. Once it's dry, you spray it, and what it'll do is it'll take that Sharpie finish away. Uh, I don't recommend going back over it with a alcohol, uh, you know, um, a cotton swab or something to try to get the mirror thing off, because what happens is that you end up getting lint. Um, you end up smearing it or smudging it, um, and so it ends up um, really messing up your shoe, since you can't really clean off any errors with the dye. And I'll quickly spray it just so you guys can see how quickly it mats it up. Hopefully it won't uh, hopefully it won't drip. And uh, it looks a little shiny there, but once it dries out, the matte finisher will become a, a little dulled out and uh, it'll take that sharpie finish away. So I'm hoping this quick video helps you guys out with the eye dye poly and a quick dye job uh, for about eight or nine bucks. So a little time has passed and you can see it's already dry. And that's what it looks like um, once it's dried with some matte coats on the sole. So I'm gonna finish working on these guys, get them all done and then get them pictures taken.